All right, similarly, this should, uh, this should make a little more sense. We're going to graph, uh, I'll say graph the Coase curve now based on our unit circle. Now, unit circle, easy peasy, remember? Radius of 1, that's what we're dealing with. Any point x, y we showed before in a previous video is really the point of the cosine of the angle, comma, sine of the angle, okay? But if we're going to uh, graph the cos curve, then uh, we're concerned with the first uh, term, or the x value. That's this thing, this thing, this thing, and this thing. So let's look at this here. At, so at uh, 0 pi radians, so at 0 pi radians, our cos value is 1. So that on our, as, as pi increases that way, on our cos graph, remember our amplitude is, uh, the farthest we can go in any direction is 1 from the origin. So there's our amplitude. At uh, 0 pi, so at here, our cos value is positive 1. So there is our first point. At pi halves here, this is pi halves, our cos value is 0. So pi halves, or 1 half pi, we're at 0. At 2 halves pi, or pi, we are at cos value of negative 1. So there's our negative 1. At 3 halves pi, our cos value is 0. So 3 halves, we're there. And 4 halves pi, our cos is 1 again. So this one, it looks like if we connect the dots like this. And that's, of course, if we only use those four points, which is not very fluid looking, right? What about the infinite points that are in between here? Well, you know, just like before, we could start uh, analyze uh, the ratios. Uh, what number would kick out for this and this if we use this triangle, 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 and the infinite triangles in between, and the values that would correspond to this, that would correspond to that, just like the sine values that would correspond to the last value, would, sh would be plotted in a way uh, on a graph that it would look like this. Okay, so it would smooth it out because it would be more precise. We're using we'd be using infinite values, so it would be more precise. Okay, now you might uh, notice that these this looks awfully similar to a sine graph, right? Sine graph looks like this. A cos graph looks like this. So what it is is really it's as though you have a sine graph, but it's shifted back half a pi. Okay, just, just kind of back pocket info, okay? But anyway, this is this is what your coast your coast graph would look like to um, to uh, two pi here. And again to repeat it. Okay, same thing, right? See what I mean by sine graph? It's in there. Anyway, that's our coast graph. Okay. So that's the basic about where how we would plot a coast graph and a sine graph, okay? You will see in the future examples that I'm going to use uh, or uh, borrow from other uh, instructors um, that this is kind of a good base to understand. Uh, but it's all about the, it, drawing the infinite triangles that will give you the infinite points to make this properly. But now that you understand where these things come from, from the earlier videos, should give you a better hand. Give me a holler if you uh, need a hand with them.